So the cards that I like the most in here are Flame Tenkavu, Murderous Red Cap, and Nameless Inversion. Lock Whale's good. Soul Herder's good. I think I'm going to pack one, pick one at Red Cap. I'm going to do that. Is this sort of like Modern Cube? Uh, not really. The power level is lower. You're going to see some cards that are also in Modern Cube. However, it's cards from every set in Magic's history. So you get some, like, real classic cards, as well as some newer ones. Hmm, maybe I'll abandon my first two picks here. Shark Typhoon's really good, too. I don't think Frog Tosser is playable, J-Dub. I'm going to take Ninja of the Deep Hours over Water Grave. Yeah, I mean, in Ninjas, I'm still going to play the Red Cap. That's still a good card. That's one of the reasons that I take Red Cap over um, FTK, right? Just goes into more archetypes. Everyone's, like, fucking always curious about Homelands. <laughs> when I describe the cube, what Homelands card? Which uh, which uh, Homelands card is in there, Caleb? Uh, Caleb. <laughs> Just the most common question about the cube by far. We should start answering cards that, like, aren't in Homelands. Throw people for a loop. Well, balancing any cube is difficult. But yeah, I, th I imagine this one would have been a headache for sure. Just tons of work. Figuring out which archetypes to support. Because you can pretty much do anything, right, with all magic. To create, like, a somewhat limit balanced, limited environment. Must have been a lot of work. Must have been very tricky. Yeah, Imperial Recruiter's in here. Yeah, I think Ravages of War would be a little too good for this cube. A little too brutal. Yo, looking at Mesmeric Fiend, looking at Brainstorm, too. Seeing some good Gabos going around. I think we have a real nice start to Ninjas here, though. Fallen Empires, cards that aren't him that don't suck, go. Pump Knights were fine, right? Are you buying Red Cap? Oh, with a Ninja? Oh, this Repulse? Oh, no. Maybe Ninjas isn't open. Maybe I char chained my court to card to the wrong horse. I'm likely not playing this Nickel Bull loss, by the way. Well, there's a blood, blood crypt in my sideboard. If this if this nickel bolas was a cruel ultimatum, I'd be like drafting Grixis control right now. What we really want are some like real nice cheap beaters, some evasive threats, some one minute one ones, and then some cheap disruption. Jesus fucking Christ. Mm. Hey, Nameless Inversion Wheel, that's good. Snake in the room? Uh, basically... It was like one of those fucking centipedes. It was like this large. Which isn't large for like the tropics or something, but it's large for my study. <laughs> and it had these like... Uh, the legs that like went way above the body. So I freaked out. And I had a uh, one of those big plastic cups. And I was just like slamming on the ground. <laughs> A living nightmare, yeah, yeah. Some people like having centipedes in their house because they, like, prefer an insect diet. So that they're eating, like, other bugs and stuff. The only downside is then you have these big fucking centipedes in your house. <laughs> Cure as bad as the illness there, huh? 
Hey, Gingerbread Wheel, nice. I don't even remember seeing the Gingerbread. I must have been really excited about Naga, out Deep Hours. Some really nice wheels that uh, pack, though. Oh, Emma, I heard you were excited to try Wisconsin cheeses. When you got here for KubeCon? I believe I will have something for you. A welcome to Wisconsin gift. <laughs> is it a centipede? It is not. In this case, a centipede. Probably. Oh, she went up. Hey, Firestarter X. Thanks for the sob. Thanks for the nine months. Kind of in the mood for... Is it Pilk? That would not be a very good gift. Hmm. Yeah, this is not a bad start. Have you seen some stupid 1-1 one -one flyers? Maybe the, the Menace Ninja that dresses the opponent when it connects. That one's really good. We got a little bit of value, a little bit of card draw, a little bit of removal. The Zombie Shinobi, what one's that? I feel like Shriek Maw is a better card than Mana War. Oh, Infiltrator's pretty good. Infiltrator might wheel. Watergrave didn't wheel last pack. Yeah, that's Shriek Maw. <laughs> I feel like I've re-traumatized some of my chat. <laughs> Talking about one time I saw a spider so big. <laughs> Anytime I think about moving somewhere a little bit warmer, a little bit more tropical, I realize that the bugs there are going to be larger. <laughs> I reconsider. <laughs> the Wizards account site. To redeem your, uh, you do it in client here. You go to the store and it's right down here it says enter promo code. You just type it in there and click the redeem button. That's true. Our winter does kill the mosquitoes. A lot of bugs die out in late fall. I think I like Liliana. It's a little bit above curve for this like tempo-y style deck. But it's messed up when it resolves. I liked it out of goblins. I'll probably like it here too. If I had the water grave, I'd like the scalding tine. For sure, mine's desire. Or this brainstorm too. That's another reason to grab the fetch. Some sets have multiple cards from each, Jacob. So there's 560 cards in the cube. There are not 560 magic sets. <laughs> yeah, maybe next year. Hey, Scary Terry. Sunken Ruins? Hell yeah. This track was really fun to see live. Usually got a great crowd response. Memory lapse, yeah. Or Spectral Bears. That card's not that bad. Always dug the art on Spectral Bears. It's basically like an exert thing. I kind of wish there was like a 17 lands data for um, for Moto Cubes, so I could just like compare other people's win rates with cards to my own, see if my theories about different archetypes actually holds up, that sort of thing. The downside would be every time I picked a card, people would be like, Caleb, 17 lands says that other card was 0.45% better game in hand win rate. You kind of wish it didn't exist. Yeah, right. I feel that too, Chaos. Oh, it's Bone Shards. Take it to Shard Town. That doesn't sound that great. Take it to Bone Town? Take it to Bone Shard Town. 
One of those. Tomb Stalker's been good for me in previous versions of this cube. This is my first time drafting it in this version. You don't see how data can be bad? You don't see how it, like hom homogenizing formats can be a bad thing? Mm -hmm. Some people might prefer knowledge of the better archetypes to go less known. Or like how you have to deal with people misinterpreting data. That's always fun. How many people do I think have casted every magic card ever in paper, including the anti? I don't, I don't know, Fancy Fish. 11 teen. That's the exact number. Yeah, no one's saying that that part of it isn't fun, Postman. No one's saying that. But I can understand why people would prefer it didn't exist, too. If you don't like it, then don't use it. But it's not... <laughs> it's, it's not like you can, like, join a draft where nobody's using it. Mm, plastic automaton. <laughs> Or if you don't like the discussions around it, like, it's not like you can just avoid those entirely, right? You're going to run into it. It's like the argument against, like, well, if you don't like the cards that don't actually look like magic cards, then just don't use them. And it's like, well, I would like to read my opponent's cards when they play them. I would like to be able to look at the board state and understand what's going on. This isn't like a just, like, if you don't use it... <laughs> <laughs> then it'll have no negative impacts on you personally thing. <laughs> like. <laughs> There's still downsides. Yeah, if you don't like Ringer Bowmasters, simply don't cast them. Yeah, just don't play with them. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Alchemy cards, I had like a harsh introduction to alchemy cards because the first time I played with them was like one of the arena cubes and just finding out that like your dragon doesn't actually do what you, <laughs> what it's done like every other time you played it and you know, stuff like that. That was always kind of brutal. There's a few bangers though. Says someone who has uh, Oracle of the Alpha in his, in his paper cube deck, in his paper cube. So the cards I like here, I mean, Hydroblast is a banger of a cyborg card, and speaking of bangers, I've had Aether Vial work out in Ninjas before. Right now our curve is kind of going up to Tombstalker range, so maybe it's not the best deck for it. Then the other good options are Watcher for, Watcher for Tomorrow and Ink Fathom Witch. I'm trying to figure out which is more likely to come back. Probably the Ink Fathom Witch. Sometimes Ink Fathom Witch just kills people, though. Watcher's nice value. I feel like this deck might be leaning more towards the value end of ninjas. Ooh, Seer, nice. Kind of the perfect ninjutsu card. Nashi's also great. Yeah, Nashi might have been the pick. Look at that Krenko going around. Got fucking rocked by this card the other day. Bankbuster is maybe the pickup. How many six drops can I put in this deck? Um, well, Silent Blade only takes takes an Aether Vial on seven. <laughs> it's a six drop with a Ninjutsu. Bill Riccardi, just here to jinx me. <laughs> I remember uh, I was at a random shop once, some years back. I was at a random shop playing some tournament. And a judge was there, and he was like, uh, there's a judge over there giving L1 tests. You should just take it. It's the easiest thing ever, Caleb. Then you'll be in L1. And you'll have, like, the option to help out at random tournaments and stuff. No reason not to. Piece of cake. You're a tournament player. There's no way you'll fail, you'll fail this. <laughs> and then I fucking biffed it. <laughs> I... <laughs> Got, like, the steps of the turn mixed around or something. Forgot something. I don't know. But they were like, yeah, no. 
And then the um, the judge who was talking about how like incredibly like stupid easy it was like wouldn't make eye contact with me. So, yeah. <laughs> Any idiot would pass this. <laughs> I did get my shit rocked, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rankler. I think if I just, like, stood there looking at the <laughs> steps of the turn over and over for a while, I'd probably be, be okay, but... Meh. I kind of like the hard evidence if I end up playing the Tomb Stalker. Exactly, Lena. Most of my most of my magic rules knowledge is from playing decks and like having judge calls. <laughs> oh, that's how that works. Okay. So long as the judge test only asks me things <laughs> that I've had, <laughs> only asks me rules interactions that I've seen in judge calls, I'll be good. I've never played Judge's Tower. I know. I'm sure I'd suck at that game. Getting close to a deck here, huh? Oh, Terramander is another good reason to have the hard evidence in there. Terramander and Tombstalker. Yeah, I dig it. I kind of draft this Crystal Shard. Somebody else gets it. Oh, jeez, Bill. Oh, jeez. Hello, Profane Command. That's not like the latest Muxus ever. I wonder if nobody's in Goblins, if this is where Muxus is showing up. Love Profane Command in these decks, though. Just like this sick-ass utility spell. It can be a fireball or a removal spell or a value card. Really strong in this cube. Yeah, deck could use more fixing. I think this sun Sunken Ruins is going to be MVP, hum. Hey, Ink Fathom came back. Nice. Ink Fathom does mean I need to uh, cut a card. I mean, it'll be one of my six drops. I mean, it's this Picklock prankster. Picklock into Tombstalker is kind of cute. Like, can we turn three a Tombstalker from this? Six, seven, eight. So I would need to have a turn one cantrip or a failed passage crack to turn three the Tombstalker. But it, like, self makes a turn four Tombstalker. That's not bad. I'd like to try it. I think Clean to Dust is going to be the sideboard card. Or one of these two. Canonically, you have to wonder what exactly the Profane Command entailed. Oh, I know that story. I know that lore. It's a Profane Command. <clears throat> All legal targets. Go suck the toes of their enemies. You've been playing too much Baldur's Gate. Did someone do that? Yeah, there was a, a famous moment with Patrick Chapin, and he had a pro-black creature that couldn't actually get fear from Profane Command in play. And he, was, he wanted to win, so he's like, Profane Command, drain you. Give all my legal targets fear. His opponent scooped up his cards. That's less greasy. <laughs> That's because Chapin said it. Yeah, right, Chaos. <laughs> Why would my opponent say legal? You'd have to be, like, stating everything weird through the whole match for that not to be strange. <laughs> I will tap all my legal sources of blue mana to cast this spell. <laughs> What's the theme for this cube? A few cards from every set in Magic's history. Every set in Magic's history is represented here. Celebration of Magic with the M30 cube. It's actually had three other runs on Moto. This is the, the fourth and final run before this cube gets sunset. It's been fun. It's been a fun one.
Living the Dream Cube. Yeah. Hopefully I'll get a chance to draft that one in paper. Last year at KubeCon, I missed it. Because there's so many other cubes to draft, and I drafted the Living the Dream Cube a lot. Like, I avoided the cubes that I'd played on Moto a bunch. Maybe this year I'll give it, get a chance to jam it. This is a deck, huh? We just have a deck. Oh, yeah, Kling was my last cut. That's right. I kind of like it. A little bit of Graveyard Hate, also a cantrip. Just putting a card in the bin is nice with some of these cards. Or like it's an instant to rebuy with Prankster, that sort of thing. I think you'd be cutting Liliana, though. And fuck that. <laughs> This right. A lot of my double black cards are later. But I do have more double black cards than double blue cards. That's just the Thalakos here. Alright, I'm fine with this. Red green deck trophy. But I feel like Prankster's better. <laughs> back to back one landers. Unfortunate. It's like not the worst five, right? Your bird has no name. So apparently Birds of Paradise, I think was supposed to be the art for Tropical Island and got repurposed. They're like, we need a bird, we need a card with bird on it. <laughs> we screwed up. <laughs> that thing's got a fucking bird, let's use that. <laughs> That was some good ones. Two of the better mid-range threats in this cube. God, what a masterpiece of an album. Just mono bangers. Put a rebot through Dargan. Can't blame them. Try again next turn. Kind of like chilling on the Fabled Passage until we need it. For either, like, Brainstorm or what have you. The Demon's fucked up. Abyssal. Yeah, I really liked it in this cube. Usually good for some Ws. Three more mana. <laughs> and we can profane command our way our Abyssal Persecutor. One more land and we can kill an X4. Real solid chance to play an X4 this turn. It should do that. Just fireball him. And now we just need a ninja. There's some ninjas in here, right? We also have several sack effects. We have bone shards. We got fucking um, Liliana down tick. I feel like we have a lot of answers to this persecutor. I didn't actually count. Maybe I should have done that. Did I update Stream Decker? I did. Only two ninjas, or three ninjas with Silent Blade. Three ninjas, bone shards, Liliana. All right, it might just be five, because we already burned the repulse. And then I think we just chill, huh? Get our blocks on.
Only one life you may have. No more, no less. Yeah, at least they're good cards, Jacob. Not like Shrink is a bad card there, right? Better than a land for sure. I'm not complaining. Okay. Easiest block of my life. Is this a free attack on their part? They're not going to kill my Persecutor. They're just going to play another creature here and rebuy it. Hold on to this island for brain freeze or brainstorm. Sorry, <laughs> that other guy with the brains. Hey. Cool. Pretty much just had to dodge overrun here. Or like a 2 7 flyer. <laughs> Something that can block Persecutor without killing it. Ninja, ninja. No changes, right? Maybe, maybe Registrar is good against them. The sickest way to die. <laughs> a, nin a ninja just existing. The ninja doesn't even enter play. You just like... <laughs> There's just a, a ninja about to exist somewhere and that's enough to kill you. Yeah, demon's just sitting there like staring at you. <laughs> mm. Oh no. <laughs> no! <laughs> So there's a there's a bug on Moto. I'm not really sure what causes it. It's it's happened on Moto before. It's happened on Moto before. The bug is sometimes you get some swamps in your deck. <laughs> and I'm not sure what causes it, but you can see I've got this type of swamp and this is a different type of swamp. This is a bug swamp. So this is well, I'll be able to like crack my fetch and figure out like what's missing from my deck if I really want to. Usually artifacts. I don't think there's very many artifacts in here. Yeah, it's literally just Ginger Brute. Yeah, great art, wrong border, exactly. File for comp, yeah. Always. Always be filing. You replace other swamps? Wouldn't that be great? I'm like going through each individual card to try and figure out what it is. <laughs> hey, stop startling. How you been? I'm glad Moto hasn't changed. Yeah, right? That's a classic. I remember when that bug first happened some years back. So you could just activate Ginger Brute there, but I don't know. I feel like you're nuking your whole turn. Whereas killing the wolf, at least you're doing something. The Mold of Five did win, yeah. It was a good Mold of Five. That demon's worth like three cards. All right, let's go look in.
Oh, this is the only this is the only replacement. The one in my hand. All the other swamps are normal. Brainstorm is the card that's missing. Was it a brainstorm for other people? Should I not be trying to play brainstorm? <laughs> it's like an interesting guess to be spookily accurate. It is usually brainstorm. Gotcha. It's unfortunate, but very funny. Yeah, right? <laughs> they finally fixed Brain... They don't need to ban, ban Brainstorm and Legacy. They fixed it. <laughs> Does it always happen with Brainstorm, or is it like a percentage of the time? What percentage of the time would Brainstorm being actually a basic swamp make it unplayable in Legacy? Like, if it's 75% Brainstorm and 25% Basic Swamp, do people still run it? Still playable? <laughs> of course, Andrew Fight. I don't think I like activating. Let's see if I can find another. Nice. I just need to not get, like, fireballed out or whatever. We should be good next turn. I don't know, Rufus. How would I know that? GG. I guess I could have saved the Nameless Inversion, huh? I would still died here, though. If I have the Nameless Inversion, the Hellrider. Because the Squirrel Tokens would be 2-2s, two right? So I kill Hellrider, they serve all. I have three blockers, block Vengevine, two of these. I would take five exactly. Tough game. I kind of do like the Rotting Regisarm. But the game won. The game that I won, like I really wanted to draw my six drops, so I don't. I don't think I need the rot, 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 the the sheriff, the sheriff of Rotterdam. I don't think I need it. Oh, get the fucking brainstorm out of here! <laughs> I don't need eighteen lands, right? Deep forest turn my real move, man. Second land. This hands gas, right? Say I need a little bit of help in the black mana department. One sunken runes fixes everything. Should have kept in brainstorm. Yeah. <laughs> either either mode, either mode of brainstorm would be great with this hand, right? <laughs> nah, I swapped the brainstorm out for this card for this Reggie. Oh, she went up. Hey, Anako SC two. Thinks the sob these eighteen months. Would love to hit Sunken Runes here and just slam Reggie. Would love to hit Sunken Runes here and just slam Abyssal Persecutor. Pretty man intensive. I'm gonna crack field passage for Island here. Possibly should have just kept Shriekmon. Just have a bunch of removal spells. 
Didn't remove the brainstorm. Yeah. We'll see if it's in there when I crack Fabled Passage. The brainstorm is not in there. All right, I need to cut that fucking card. Brainstorm unplayable confirmed. Why is this autoplay? It's gonna autoplay. It might as well be Car Carpenter Brett. No, I don't have a Shriek Maw for the turn two kill your thing. Yeah, I might lose this game because I kept Seer. That'd be a bummer. Usually when you're playing ninjas, you really want to get an evasive threat down, like ASAP, but we might be a little bit more mid range than the typical ninjas deck. I almost just want to cast this. Cat mur murders right around their turn, thanks to the Tithe Taker. With climate change, the brainstorms are getting worse and worse. They are, they are, aren't they? Isn't that depressing? I'm gonna hit Shriek Maw mana before I hit Thalco Seer mana. Oh, that's a nice answer to Persecute Aim. I'm gonna still make them do it, of course. Yeah, I, l I literally have Shriek Maw mana first. <laughs> and Shriek Maw would've been so much better here in this uh, matchup. That's okay, we can play Murder Rider next turn. We we'll stem some bleeding. Let me get this Liliana down. Terrible keep. The Seer over the Shriek Mom. That was poor. Oh, they're not activating. Nice. They wanted to raise the alarm, hum. Oh, the activation on cost four. It wasn't an option for him, I see. Fair enough. You're right, Daboom. I've liked Persecutor just in like my control decks too. It's just hard for some decks to answer. Snapping off that block. Well, Giselle is terrifying. That's a potential answer. Yep. <laughs> the brainstorm. This bug, we already knew it was in there when we cracked the field passage. I'm kind of happy with the land drop here. If I play the Liliana pre-combat, I get to draw a card from Ninja Dying, but I also imagine they block differently, right? With the threat of the Liliana Edict here. I knew this Thalico Seer was going to pay off. <laughs> when I kept it in my opener over Shriek Maw, I was like, this is going to be so good. <laughs> oh, god damn it, meme. What's the swamp bug? Um, if, we, if you play Brainstorm, it shows up as a swamp. Can we talk about how good the Seagate Oracle's been? Oh, 
I wonder if sacking Jinjiru to gain life and draw a card is better there. Profane Command drains for five. They're at 13. We have 11 power. Carry the two and the... Hmm. Oh shit, what up? Hey Torvac MOS, thanks for the 67 months and the reminder to eat some ass. Always good to have that reminder. Eat the booty like groceries. <laughs> Kill my ginger fruit. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah, that game was good. I kind of like Fester here on the draw. Kind of feels like they're trying to get on the board. Should I punish Thalicos here by cutting it here? Oh, no, I should cut the fucking Brainstorm probably, right? <laughs> it's probably the cut. <laughs> All right. That card that's a swamp. But an uglier swamp than my other swamps. Yeah, I'll keep this. Cut a swamp, keep the brainstorm in. It would be funny, eh? You're right, you're right. I like your comedic talents. Would you please take over the stream for me? Is magic the first time any of y'all heard about Naga? I ran into them in one of the Might and Magic games. I think it was six. You saw him in Heroes of Mind Magic. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Set in the same universe. Final Fantasy. Oh, they're Indian-centered. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be my next question. That I didn't actually know. Warcraft. Yeah, I never played Warcraft. Just the coolest creature to ninjutsu away. Plus, got a lot of teeth on the arm. Also, are there some rockin' tits in the middle of all the, like, folds and <laughs> teeth and red eyes and stuff? Did OG D&D have Naga? I'm not, I'm not sure. Should be able to Google that, right? Yeah, it's in the D and D lore. I don't know if I run into them in a campaign ever, though. Why isn't Thalicos Seer played in Popper? Probably because it costs two mana, right? It's a lot of mana. I'm just gonna serve. The opponent's got too much mana open to like not have something planned, right? They're gonna flash in some wolf, something like that. Find your worm repulsive. I think we've been Oni here, hum. As we're like mm, struggling to hit land number four. Could have been Seer too. We might be like past the Seer time. Oh, interesting lemonade. I got a bone up on my Indian mythology. In D and D, they were like sphinxes, like mystical guardians. Sure. Is Thalcos a good card here? Yeah, it's pretty good. I get to like draw a card when I ninjutsu. You do pretty much want to be in uh, ninjas, but it's also good in blink. Blue white blink is also supported in this cube, and it does like the wall of omens thing there, where you blink it to draw cards. 
So it's actually like cool. It's a really cool card in this cube specifically. Brainstorm is bugged because it shows up as a swamp. That's the bug. You get a swamp instead. Okay. Okay. Hey, usually when you play Brainstorm, you would rather did rather not have a swamp. I want a Thalico Seer and get more damage in, but I should probably Seed Oracle to hit lands. I think. Been having a rough time with those lands. Oh, hey, a land. If Anointed Procession was symmetrical, yeah, right? They need the, the new enchantment that doubles things is symmetrical, right? The four and a green. I win! I win the match! Yeah, missing to get Naga is like one of the one of the reasons to go into ninjas for sure. Steals lives. And then you have like a lot of like tempo cards around it and stuff. You win games even if you don't get it. There's like a couple of other ninjas that are also really impactful. The duress ninja is really strong in this cube. Just gunk up somebody's plans. Yeah. Is there a best color in this cube? Um I think black because it goes into ninjas and goblins. I'm really happy like pack one pick one a, a terror or something. And then you can also like throw those cards into typical control shells and stuff. Don't need the swamp rip here. Is there a best color for Homeland Sealed? I've drafted Homelands once. It was not it was not a good format for that. It was, it was not great. Don't let the don't let the janitor that works at your company make a make a new card set. Is <laughs> is the lesson from Homelands? Don't let someone whose skill set is not related to game design at all. <laughs> yeah, sure, you can do this. Have yeah, fun. No, they got a thing. That's probably okay. Matt Damon was a janitor and he solved that hard math problem. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you shouldn't ever, like, bring your janitors in to solve, like, advanced physics equations. We've all seen that documentary. But that's not what making a magic set is, right? A little, a little tougher. Documentary? Yeah, yeah. You know, about the apples or something. There's something to running out Seal of Doom here and just preventing them from ninjutsuing. Oh, Gingerbread should have got in for one, huh? Ninjutsuing in some, like, giant, obnoxious blue creature. You've played a ton of the Dark Sealed, would not recommend. Yeah, it doesn't seem great. That the movie about finding really good deals at Goodwill. No, I thought... I thought about it, it was about hunting good people that happened to be named Will. Like, for sport. I could be wrong. Oh, she went up. Hey, Novella, thanks for 50 months. 50 months of the Caleb D. Magic the Gathering show. You know it. That's unfortunate. The game is going uh, kind of poorly so far. Maybe it should just make a fucking Tomb Stalker. Like, trade Festering Gob with Ginger Brood and throw two cards in the bin. Make a 5-5. Five, five. 
How bad is that? Probably pretty terrible. Surely they're out of removal or bounce, yeah. Bounce would also be bad. It does dodge uh, terrorist type effects, like the Seal of Doom I have in my hand. It's a good sign. The Tomb Stalker can't serve while they have this Murderous Rider down, because they might be able to ninj ninjutsu it back to hand and kill Tomb Stalker. So I think I just run out Seal of Doom and pass here. Not a bad thing twice. Pretty good format for thing twice. You usually have time for that sort of thing. One's got a lot of card draw. They might be able to just grind me out. Liliana would be nice for me. So with the comes to play trigger on the stack, I'm gonna seal it. And now they'll return the non-existing card to their hand. And now they will hide away for. I'm pretty sure you have to choose a card with hide away, but if you know that you can't get it, you just exile a land or something, right? Their pulse has me feeling a little safe because I can bounce their uh, Umizawa. If they'd served with both, I would have bounced it on the att Declare Attacker step. To prevent uh, ninjutsu, ninjutsu shenanigans. Have any of y'all, like, done something with Murderous Rider with its trigger on the stack? Exiled it to a scavenging ooze or something? I don't know if I ever have. I don't know if I've ever gotten that clever. Instant Speed Delve, Murderous Rider, Death Trigger on the stack, Exile it to Dig Through Time. I had a commercial going, Shiny, so I wanted to make sure to boost all my response. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Thing My Bobby, Thing's so 63 months. Oh, we're all old, Thing My Bobby. I wonder why this didn't serve. Maybe because they needed a blocker. Oh, that's fucking bad for me. Yeah, Doomstalker might not be able to serve next turn. They have five cards in hand. That's so many cards. Do you want to lose their Finkel? It wouldn't kill their Finkel. This is a 2 2 versus a 1 3. Hmm, feels like I'm getting ground down here. Hello, hello, hello. The X counter spell gets me whether I play the land out or not here for Liliana. Because they can make me pay five. If I play the land, I only have four up. I'm just going to cast it. I 
my heart sank for a second. Then it said, then I reread it and it said artifact or creature. And it's like, okay, okay, okay. We can, we can keep playing. <laughs> yeah. There's some counter spells like that, right? And let's do like any permanent. I think there's one during invasion block, some blue green thing. Probably an aggressive scoop on my part because I have my own profane command in there somewhere. As well as Silent Blade is a good rip. How grindy should we get? We can get pretty grindy. <laughs> An easy cut with the brainstorm. I'm gonna cut Seal of Doom. I'll leave Shriek Mine, but I'm gonna cut Seal of Doom. Too many non hits, huh? Maybe cut Shriek Mine too. Play like some other fucking demon. Am I actually supposed to bring this in? I've literally never played this card in the cube. I think it's like fuck ass terrible. But, they, but let's let's try it out here. <laughs> we'll write me into Nicol Bolas. <laughs> Opponent was like not ver playing very aggressively, right? Maybe we'll actually be okay. <clears throat> Little did they know, Inspector Crab was a ninja all along. Oh, come on, lands. Come on, lands. Uh, what else would you do with the Bolas, your octopus boyfriend? We had enough mana last fucking game, hum. Come on, land. Come on. I was going to be so sad if I would have to discard there. Love it. <laughs> Crystal Card Shark sure, can do a lot of cool stuff in this matchup. Save your creatures from getting killed, that sort of thing. The long, grindy matchups where that card can shine. I think I like the idea of playing out the Watcher for tomorrow and then, like, snap sacking into Bone Shards. Getting to reuse adventure creatures, yeah, right? Rebuy my murderous rider. We'll just Watcher for tomorrow. Ooh. Maybe that's better than Bone Sharding. Is this Nicol Bolas meant to be cast, they asked. Ha! Build your own divination. It's like better than divination, right? Yeah, more, more like impulse, I guess.
want to get in there removal while they can. Oh, they only have eight over there. I'll see about slamming Liliana. We'll see what they do. Pick your poison, friend. Our Bolas. I think they're taking Liliana here. I do think they're going to take Nic Nicol Bolas the next time they play Vendetta and click. Oh, maybe they won't be next time. I'm going to do the Watcher cycle. Hit my land drop here. Yeah, this Crystal Shard has dominated this game, huh? I haven't even targeted the opponent. I've just been sitting over here sharding myself. Just like over and over again. Like I like compulsively, like I can't even stop, like I don't even have a choice. It's a little embarrassing. Shard yourself in front of everybody. Should we let our exile zones touch? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing well, Jackal Demon. Superman does good. What if we kissed in the exile zone? <laughs> uh, funny joke. Unless. Just denying them a card here. Oh, the witch is worse than just replaying Terramander. By like a lot. They have a lot of ways of blocking the witch. You love the witch? Yeah, it can get some crazy damage in. Could Crystal Shard be in Vintage Cube? It has been before. I don't think it's quite good enough, personally. These days. The competition is so fierce for slots. Cards are too good. You could certainly build a Powered Cube that Crystal Shard still fits in. But you'd want to tone down the power level a bit. Do we get to cast Bolas? I believe we do. Question is, what do you do with it? I think what I do is I actually uptick on the Watery Grave, and then if they float, I go to the second main to Crystal Shard Bounce the Forager. <laughs> huh. It's a May ability, I'm Rando. So we would have attacked and then we would have said no. But it, it does go to the opponent's hand, yeah. You can't, there's no way to get your opponent's cards into your hand in Magic. Not the worst. We went to an Island for the Seer on two instead of running out of Terramander on one. I still like this better than playing two one drops. Next turn we can play. Oh wow! All right, <laughs> I'm into it. Now I have to discard. I was gonna say next turn I could play a one drop plus nameless inversion if I wanted to. Yeah, it's been a land. Fuck it, we don't need these. Mighty kind of you, opponent. Perma bugged in this draft, Jacob. But apparently it hasn't been happening in like legacy and stuff. <laughs> Some brainstorm.
Oh yeah, she ends. You think it's this version of Brainstorm? I could see it. I think Murder's Red Cap's my best draw here, huh? Just answer this borrower real cleanly. The three one that makes copies of itself would be really strong too while they're tapped low. Yeah, we got a few good draws. Ooh, don't have to worry about desertion this game. That's nice. Oh, the Compulsive Research discarded to non-lands and missed their land drop. Brutal. Does mean their hand's full of gas. Really want to repulse my own seer here. Probably wrong, right? Just try to repulse into a divination. Oh, amazing floor glues and all. <laughs> How long did that last? Did it ever come up in like competitive play? <laughs> Rumble sees a different pick ban rate depending on which side the teams are on. Another adventure fizzles. Oh, shame. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. At least they're not flashing in a 6-6 there, huh? They can 2 me down to 11. And then 8 me down to 3. We would lose to... The X damage card. Oh, they're not playing the 6-6. Nice. Can the opponent time out with 3 minutes on the clock here? I think it's unlikely. I think this game's wrapping up. It's, like, technically possible, but unlikely. Allow me to peruse your hand, please. Choose zero cards. Oh, can it not be a creature? You may cast a spell. What? Oh, do I just say done here first? Anytime you play an adventure, you get to play the creature side. I'm going to restart Magic Online. I would like a Moldrifter. <laughs> I'm going to get big for a sec here. I'm going to get big here for a sec. We're going we're gonna to try restarting this program. It did let me choose the, mag the, the Moldrifter, you know? It should let me have it. <laughs> My opponent fucking rocked me with this card twice yesterday. Oh, 
Ha ha! <laughs> yeah, just a really unintuitive UI, I guess. I think if you just click no there and it brings you to the screen, I assume. Snap and Mac remove soul, sure. I mean, I should just be slamming um, Leon this turn, hum. It's been a long match for sure. GG! Kind of neat transitioning from being like not grindy at all to super grindy. Grind them out! <laughs> Porting in the Nickel Bolas Splash. The Crystal Shard. Crystal Shard was so good that second game. Just an Unreal Magic card. It was like a, it was like a 10 for 1 or something. Very frustrating card to play against sometimes. Those are free draft too. Just pure value.